Technology which I am using is a Java with a Spring Boot microservices, a Spring Cloud component as a backend. Some of the exposures in frontend as a Angular 9. Also, I have a good experience in services, AWS Cloud services, which is used for the deployments and all. And uh, coming for this database, I have good knowledge about this Mongo and Oracle SQLs database. And also, I have a good experience in DevOps tools, which is used for Apache, Maven, Jenkins, Jira, GitHub, ELKS, Plunx which used for this development, deployment and monitoring the applications and all. And oh, also I have good knowledge about this uh, like uh, domain like uh, uh, telecom, e-commerce, banking and health insurance. So the current project which I am working that is based on health, health insurance project. So my role and responsibility in this project like uh, we are following agile. So whatever the sprint task we need to define that we need to work. So my role and responsibility on daily basis we are at, uh, working with this uh, microservices development. So uh, we have to develop some of the uh, services and to end customizations and all. Apart from this uh, also we'll have a third party calls which will be there so that uh, by using REST template and Kafka we have to implement the certain third party calls business requirement. Uh, and once the deployment uh, de development will be completed then there will be some deployment will happen in the different different scenario so while it will go for the production deployment so for that cases we need to take and care all those changes whatever we have done all the configurations and logs so that our productions and all will go as smooth and all so that type of work i am doing on daily basis okay uh, and you guys are using the jira for tracking right uh, yes uh, it's if something like uh, you have been assigned a user story, yeah. but uh, you have been assigned some of the subtasks in that, right? right? It's something, something like for, uh, uh, let's assume this scenario, unfortunately, unfortunately you haven't have completed one of the tasks task actually. actually. What, what happens in the particular task and then user story? No, if, if, uh... Uh, particular in a particular task will have a multiple sub story so suppose if I a particular sub story if I am unable to complete so in that uh, cases first of all we have to mention the proper reasons like why we have what uh, what is the blockers and all either from which point is the blockers and all so that we have to mention in the comment of Jira and after that that will be go for this uh, like uh, uh, next sprint suppose if I haven't completed in the particular timeline of that sprint then it will be uh, uh, go for the next sprint mm -hmm. okay, okay what, what are, are the are various stages, stages of, of uh, user, user story, story actually actually in Jira, Jira. Uh, various stages of user story uh, will uh, asking for this like a uh, task subtask and all yeah, yeah so, no, uh, subtask sub no, no actually, actually but the user, user story, story user story, story consists, consists of subtasks. Sub right? Okay, okay. One, so one, yeah, to so come all the subtasks sub again, you need, you need to move the story to somewhere, somewhere right? Yeah, 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 user yeah. story to yeah, what yeah, the stage is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So after that, once the Jira task has been assigned, there will be created a sub task, and sub task once we have a completed, that will be this. Uh, progress in progress and completed and uh, moved in the QA so once we have a in progress and after that we completed then that will be go for the moved in QA so that QA team will be assigned for that and uh, once QA will be uh, completed the particular scenario and testing and after that it will go for the some uh, 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 performance testings and all so that performance testing will be completed then uh, they will raise uh, this one uh, uh, for the deployments of the uh, this one in this okay, uh, okay. pre prod and have you, have you wrote, wrote any uh, queries, queries in, uh, in uh, jira, jira actually, actually. We, we do we do, do generally write the, the queries as well right in jira, jira. It's, it's something, something like, like to fetch all, all of the of details. details have, have you, wrote you wrote anything, anything? No, I, for this uh, i haven't wrote anything but yeah there there is options are there uh, so that we can uh, fetch the details through query also but i haven't used Mm -hmm. okay. okay, and uh, how much comfortable you are in front end and then back end actually? Out of five, how much rate? You, uh, how much rate you sell? Uh, back end out of five, I can rate it uh, like uh, uh, four or four point five. Front end uh, out of five, uh, uh, three. 
why is that uh, less experience in front end or it's something like man what exactly the reason mostly mostly what we are working like uh, we have a uh, uh, full implementations or architectures from uh, like uh, three layer of architectures are there like front end db and um, back end as a microservices but uh, have the knowledge on angular hands on knowledge on angular right? yeah but mostly the work which we are working uh, in development part like uh, back end related depends on the requirement which is coming from the sprint based and uh, uh, particular sprint so the task will be mostly based on the back end so we are working on that still, uh, still if i ask any question on angular side you are able to answer it right why because this profile is for java plus angular i'll not alone on java mm -hmm. uh yeah some of the questions yeah no how, how many, many till how, how many years, years you were working on angular, angular? or uh, if you were if you have worked anything? anything angular i have worked approx one and a half years one years but, but if, if you are working, working on from the past one and a half year right i think you may have the knowledge on every concept i think so most of the concepts mm -hmm. but if i ask any question why because this is to you and me right uh, if you are clear with this then i can uh, ask more than more on that i think so that's all mm -hmm. uh right now which i am mostly i am in back end uh, development which i have done in this uh, organization but angular i am familiar about that mm -hmm. but, still but still not, not much, much on angular, angular actually, actually. Not, not much on java, java also. also i, I will, will ask, ask only couple of questions, questions actually, actually. Mm -hmm. is that is fine and how about java javascript no javascript i used uh, like 4 uh, years 5 years back only uh, uh, right now hello yeah yeah are you html css javascript and all we used but 4 years 5 years back uh currently mm -hmm. which i used uh, like a uh, back end with the java with the spring boot microservices some of the part which i used angular and uh, this one in angular if you are using angular then obviously you will write uh, html right without writing html you cannot do anything yes, right correct. yeah obviously if you are writing typescript means obviously you are writing javascript only huh? correct yeah so typescript yeah typescript is also look like a javascript Yes, yeah, JavaScript, JavaScript only, right? At the end of the day, TypeScript is superset of JavaScript. What are yeah. the concepts? Superset of. In... Yeah, yeah, those, those concepts, concepts are only are in, in uh, uh, TypeScript, type but, but additional to that, that, they have implemented object-oriented principles. That's it. Okay, okay let's, let's start, start from, from Angular, Angular actually. actually. If you if are okay, okay, I can ask. ask but, but if you are not, not okay, okay, let me know. I will move forward with other things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay right? right? Yeah. 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 What, what are the, are the life, cycle life cycle hooks, hooks are there, there uh, in, in Angular? Angular? Uh, we have uh, like uh, three life cycles are there. Pre, post. <laughs> and... Uh, Pre post is like I am not getting a uh, pre hook and post hook. Pre hook, post hook. Okay. Did you heard about anything ng on in it ng on destroy? Yeah. But these are all the life cycle methods, right? Ng on changes. Pre hook. Post hook, I think I didn't know. I think so. Yeah, ng on in it destroyed, and uh, these all are there. Ng 
No, no you, you, you have, have you, if you have, have used anything, anything apart, apart from, from these, these life cycle, cycle hooks. hooks. No, uh, pre post I used. But what pre post? I, I didn't, didn't understand, understand this actually. actually. Pre hook, pre -hook so there are. There are there actually pre-hook Let's leave that actually. You you have Angular and React and Vue, right? What exactly the differences you have observed with these technologies? Angular Angular will have part of framework which will be included as a JavaScript and all. So through that we can. Uh, create uh, some uh, good response UI but other, other frameworks framework also do the same and uh, react yeah react uh, react js is also as a uh, like uh, they have uh, in multiple library are there so through that we can import the library and create a, a job a new UI interfaces and instead that they will provide a server where we can uh, run our applications and uh, process this so compared to angular uh, react is also uh, responsive and good Hello. Yeah, hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah my, my network, network got out of mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did you heard about, about lazy loading in Angular? Angular? Yeah, lazy loading uh, is uh, like uh, while we are uh, calling uh, any uh, while we are fetching any data uh, to insert from the UI, then it will go from the to face the backend to the database. So lazy loading mm -hmm. will load all the things like uh, the main classes and how all. To lazy, uh, how, how to lazy to load actually? actually? How we are lazy, lazy loading by using, by using some, some syntax, syntax right? What is that? Uh, uh, how, how to how lazy, lazy load? load? Mm -hmm. uh, lazy load in. Uh, Okay, let's leave that. Uh, it's something like uh, how how you are communicating between the components actually. Component uh, to service, right? Yeah. No, just I wanted to communicate component A and component B actually. How you are communicating? Uh, can, you that we have... can you turn on? Can you turn on? Once again, uh, uh, some, some glitch is there, there from, from your end actually. actually. Turn off and then turn on the you, turn on. Yeah, now it's fine. Yeah, now it's fine. Yeah, now it's fine. Uh, yeah so for that we'll have uh, like uh, one common uh, TS file will be there. In that TS file, we have to mention this uh, uh, component. Mm -hmm. So both component. Uh, details we have to mention what is the component name so that will be called from one to another are you sure, sure. Uh, yeah there is a, some common file is there that we can mention no no we let me know you, if you if you have worked on angular let me know otherwise we can skip this part why because whatever the things you are saying right that is not belong to the angular anymore actually um, till now i asked right these questions mostly i am belonging from backend only uh, i am not sure like who has scheduled this interview with angular angular i have but not uh, no, no, no. Still, but still, but still right, right. 
if in your resume if you mentioned angular right mm -hmm. obviously based on keyword only they will not change right let me see back your resume once again yeah angular i worked like in my project angular is there i am working but uh, the thing but still to, but whatever the questions i have asked right the, those are all the basic questions but if you if you have worked on it obviously you need to know all these things actually without these concepts you cannot do anything inside angular mm -hmm. correct right if you have if you have angular in your resume then only they will schedule for java if you have java java only they will schedule it if you have both then okay i'll mention uh, i'll inform them uh, to the uh, because i'm um, not so right now which one which one angular i'm not so right now i'm not prepared for this angular okay. let's leave angular, angular then yeah, yeah, that, that, in initial only i have told right, right. if you are comfortable with angular, with angular then only i will ask otherwise i will skip in the initial only i have told right to you okay let's leave about angular actually uh but how about uh, in java how we are creating singletons uh singletons we can create uh, like uh, create a class as a singleton custom singleton inside where uh, we'll have a uh, like uh, create a attribute as a uh, and after that one uh, create a method which will be a static method inside we'll check the instance uh if instance has been created uh, then we can refer the same instance if instance is not null yeah. yeah if you if have your keyboard, keyboard can, can you type, type the syntax for that in the chat box you can write chat yeah No, no where no, you are no, seeing no, actually no you no, have no. popping something no, actually no, or no, uh, something no, like uh no i'm writing in this text uh, chat okay okay no worries no, no. single